Hi, welcome to a product review and test by Robojax. In this video, we are going to do the test and review of this 1400 watt AC dimmer. And indeed, it, it goes. This is how it does. How fast this is heating up. Here is the setup for testing a toaster. I purchased this from eBay for $1.89 and depending on where you get it from you might uh, pay different prices but this has been labeled as 2 kilowatt and you can search for 2000 watt AC motor speed controller you will get it here I will provide you the link in case if you want to just click and search and this has been rate rated as 2 kilowatt uh, I will have to test it and see if this can handle certain load. So the claim on eBay is not trusted. Let me explain the hardware. The main triac here is BTA16 600B and then we have a diac here that is firing the gate of this. We have main potentiometer that you dim the light and there is the adjustment depending on sensitivity of the load you can adjust this. The rest are just a, a small components. We have two resistors and then the two capacitors. I searched online and I found the schematic diagram for this. This is the input. Here they wrote it in English. The rest is Russian but it's very clear. This is the input and that's the output. This is our BTA16600, that's our triac. And we have a diac here. This is a snubbing circuit that is suppressing unexpected hysteresis or move, uh, change in voltage. I'll provide you the link for this document from analog device AN437. And here it expects, and here it explains it that the track and the, the RC snubber circuit here with exactly 100 ohm resistor with 0.1 microfarad 400 uh, volts capacitor and if I show you that this resistor is 100 ohm as you can see this is 100 ohm that is this resistor in series with this capacitor and then this resistor is here and this is 4.7 kilo ohm resistor which is this one with the same capacitor 0 0.1 microfarad 400 volts so these two are here let me measure that and show you so that's 4.6 4.7 kilo ohm and this trimmer is written as 205 that is two zero and five zeros so that is a two mega ohm trimmer and then here this is the main potentiometer and this is 500 kilo ohm so this two mega ohm with 500 kilo ohm are in parallel to achieve certain value and the current goes from this way to the track and we have here a capacitor this is not changing so you can control the angle of fire here of this track and this is the output to the load neutral, the neutral line is directly connected so we are just controlling one of the wire or the live wire L length of this module is 48.2 millimeters or 1.89 inch the width is 36.4 millimeters or 1.43 inch the depth is 30.3 millimeters or 1.19 inch and if you want to know the weight with the knob is 40 grams here's the data sheet for BTA 16 600B the pins are from left T1 and then we have T2 and then the last pin is gate. 
the maximum current that it can handle is 16 ampere and the blocking voltage is 600 volts so in terms of power it can handle 16 ampere but not with this small heat sink i'll provide you the link in case if you want to have a look, look at it further that you will connect your input at this point this is the wire that i have in canada this is a plug and i've connected it to this point actually this was a piece of wire which i just cut it and two is connected in here and then that this is for the load and i'm going to connect the load in here and here i found this fan that can fit on the screen and you can see it uh, powered everything up let me connect this in now it is connected and this is on now because now this is maximum but I know this fan is now not running at maximum so perhaps it needs some adjustment clockwise is not helping let's go counterclockwise yes increasing So we have very small window of control. This is not. The reason that this is not controlling it in a full rotation is perhaps this will work with 220 volts properly if you rotate it fully. And here is the setup for the testing a toaster. This shows the input voltage, 123 volts. At the moment, this load is not connected. I am going to use this toaster, connecting it, and we will see how much we can dim it or we can reduce and see how much power this can handle. Now, this is the setup, and the voltage is 124 volts. Now I set this to maximum and this is a toaster. Let me turn it on. Eight hundred watt and so let me reduce it. So we have reduced it to three hundred watt. Let me go to zero, what happened? The toaster is turning off, so I have to be uh, at a certain level. When I go to the maximum, that's 872 watts, 870 watt, 7.37 ampere. Let's leave it like that, it's heating up my room. Re let me take the thermal image. And let me turn this on let's go to the maximum so it doesn't turn off quickly now let's see how fast this is heating up using the thermal camera 68 69 degrees Seventy-three, seventy-two degrees 75 so that's very normal Eighty, eighty-one degrees. So this is very normal now. The temperature is good. Eighty-four, eighty-five degrees. Let's see how much it heats up. But my toaster will turn on, turn off soon. 
330 degrees. I've disconnected it when I touch it, it's hot. Initially, when I received this, uh, it was not dimming up fully the light. The reason for that was, for example, if I turn this around fully, if I turn this fully low, so the light was like this. I could increase the brightness and when I was decreasing it, it was at this level. This is a 100 watt tungsten light. Now let's test this with this luminous 15 watt LED. The intensity of light of this one is 1550 luminous. So the old wattage is now over. We just measure the intensity of light by the luminous and we don't care about the power of wattage because sometimes they may make it very efficient and you get higher rating. So, so for us, the energy consu consumed and the luminosity of the bulb is important. And this, and they are offered in uh, different daylight tungsten and different shading. This is now for 120 volts, but it will act with the same way with the different voltage. Let me connect this. Now the dimmer is on. At the dim light, this is how it does. It just uh, blinks like this because it's dim. Now if I increase this slowly it dims but at the maximum at the maximum you saw that it is working perfectly but if I decrease the light this is what it does. So this doesn't work with all LED lights. Some of the LED lights are made dimmable but this uh, regular LED light will not work. This is a different LED light, very low power. Now, if I reduce it, this is now working, but the intensity of light cannot increase or decrease fully. Let me just reduce this fully. to adjust this make sure to put a tungsten light because for sure you can see the intensity and then let's put this at the minimum now this is at the minimum but still we can see that line we want to make sure that we don't see anything Still, I see red light. Now it is totally off. And if I go to the maximum, I'm not sure if we are getting maximum or not. Let's rotate this to see if we are getting more, more than this. By rotating it to the maximum, now it's clicking. You can hear the click. So uh, now let's go to the left, to the minimum. And this time, because I know with the maximum it didn't work, so let's put this back to the minimum. I want to make sure that we don't see any red. Still, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Still, there is a red wire. Let me rotate it towards the camera so you can see it. You see the red wire? It's still it hot, it is hot. And let me adjust it further. Now it's totally off. With eye, we cannot see it. And now let me increase it. And indeed it, it goes to the maximum. Uh, 
and here what it does at the minimum and at the maximum it, it just works now I'm connecting a different bulb this is a different brand Eco Smart 120 volts 90 milliampere this 800 luminous it is now at the maximum and let me reduce it so this is perfect this is dimmable but when I go to the zero it cannot go to zero but uh, from the certain value above let me turn this more from here maybe we have more dimmable value so no and that's the minimum that it can go still there is some light but it's very dim and as I rotate this you can see that it can increase so let me get it off the screen so you can see my hand so make sure if you're using this dimmable device make sure to get the right type of LED bulb some of them have been labeled as dimmable the review of this so-called 2 kilowatt AC dimmer or AC light speed controller my test with 800 watt load showed that this is heating up significantly and the amount of power that is going here with the voltage and the current was that depends on your location so the current was 7.5 ampere maximum current that this allowed was 7.5 ampere and if you see 7.5 times 220 volts so you can c control 1650 watt but the amount of power that passes here 70 700 1600 watt this is not capable to handle it because it will heat up significantly so the total power is at the end important so this cannot handle any power above 800 watt it will heat up very quick you need huge heat sink with current heat sink it cannot handle it If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comments or questions, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, you may subscribe now. And and this has been rated as two kilowatt. Uh, I will have to test it and see if this can handle certain